with all this information, we can massively benefit humanity. And, um, you know, the reason why I wake up every day and go to the office is because I feel that responsibility. So, you know, and I want to make sure that there's a structure in place so, that carries on with or without me. And one of the things that's so core to me, like when we set up the company, we made it clear, like it's you that owns your data. And at any point you can delete your data. You can download it, delete and be gone. Founding Vision for 23 Me was all about trying to really revolutionize healthcare. Part of what we're doing is we're enabling consumers to take control. And um, the first thing that we're doing is with the genetics, like that it was all about, you know, the foundation of you and your health is your genetic information, and we want to enable you to broadly get access to that and enable this ability for people to actually organize, come together, and answer questions and be part of the whole healthcare system. I'm really excited that the findings and the amount of information, the discovery potential we have is huge. So when I think about for 23andMe, I feel like we did a lot to sort of empower this idea of consumers taking their health and direct to consumer. And I think the next thing is gonna be, how do you actually really transform all this data into something that's genuinely meaningful? We do a lot of partnerships with groups because it's the right thing to do. Like we want to understand how are people using genetic information, how are people understanding this information, and if there's a significant discovery that we can find in an area, then we should, we should do that. So on the pharma side, I think we've been really lucky. We, bet we have met really great people. And they spend their life trying to make a discovery, and they spend their life trying to understand Alzheimer's or Parkinson's and wanting to make a difference. And partnering with them is awesome because they are, um, you know, they are, like, that's how we're going to move things forward. You know, we, we've done a lot of things that are antithetical to standard ways of maximizing profits in healthcare. Like even the fact that we sell it at you know ninety nine dollars, which is really I can sort of barely say break even. Um, we do a lot of partnerships for free, and it was one thing that we went to NIH once, and they were you know they asked like why do you do this research, and and our response is like well because it's the right thing to do. Like we want to understand how are people using genetic information, how are people understanding this information, and if there's a significant discovery that we can find in an area then we should we should do that we're we're focused a lot on you know we want to make sure that like it's in the right interest of the com of the customer like you want to move science forward and so you want to be able to make sure that you are that the data is being used in a way that is actually going to benefit you and, and humanity part of what's exciting for me is that there's all these companies that are enabling people to get more data about themselves so when we started Fitbit was just starting around that same time, and so there was that concept, like, oh, well, you're gonna be able to collect data by yourself, and, and I think the fact that, um, you know, in the utopian world, you have your genetic information, and you have your medical records, and you know what, you know, your blood values are, and you know what you're eating, and you know what your, your environment you're exposed to, and I think that that world is actually realistic in the, in the near future. When I think about for other company, companies, um, I think one of the things that's lacking in the Valley is sort of a network of people who understand the regulatory environment and sort of a coalition that can help others. So that's actually one thing I think a lot about is that how is it that, based on our experience, what would we have done differently? Like what, what, what is the resource that would have actually helped us avoid some of these problems? Um, because I look at a lot of these startup companies and even people here, like, do they, do they, do they even understand the regulation? And we have now a phenomenal, we have Kathy Hibbs, who came from Genomic Health. She has 15 years of experience, more than that, in the regulatory health space, and especially with genetics. Like, little companies can't afford to hire somebody who's, like, that high-powered. So, so how is it that this community can, in some ways, foster so that these companies know what to do? Um, and I don't know. I mean, it's not, it, it, it's tough right now. Um, to understand, but I think that's, that's part of it. Like, I feel a responsibility as being one of the bigger companies in this space now of helping sort of that next generation. Part of it for me is, is being able to really be open to new ideas and new opportunities. Like, I feel like my job, like, I have a really phenomenal team 
that is executing. And I spend most of my time thinking about that next three years. And so, so in some ways, getting myself out of the weeds enables people to work better. And, um, and then I can start to think about like that vision, like where's the company going? And to shift gears for people realistically takes time and requires discussion and thought process. So I think that is, um, so I kind of, you know, I have that really great luxury of spending a lot of time seeing what's coming and, and identifying trends. The biggest shift came when I hired Andy Page, the president of 23andMe, and he is a much better operator than I am. And so he runs like like day in day out, like the budgets and the teams and the team meetings and making sure that like every like people have their deadlines and we're hitting the deadlines. Like that is, I have a, we're a phenomenal team, and and that way we're, we're both sort of doing what we're doing best. So a lot of founders, I think, tend to, like, you see a vision and you see the idea and, and it's so obvious, like, what, like, I think about, for me, sometimes, like, it's so obvious where we should go, but in some ways you need someone who can translate. It's a little bit of that filter. So in some ways, having somebody who is very good at setting order and structure in place enables me, then, to be sort of free and, like, think about creatively, like, where do we go? And it gives the entire team that's, like, working on building out a project and building out their their you know their their parts of the site, it enables them then to operate with like a structure and and a vision for where it's going, and then we can slowly start to build those two worlds. So the most important thing for me um, for Twenty Three Me has been maintaining control of the company. Um, people ask all the time like, are you going to are you going to sell? Are you going to do this or that? Like, we have a very very clear mission. That said, we need you know we have a number of great investors. We have a number of employees who want liquidity. So I think a lot about that, and also like the, to be honest, like the one thing that drives me towards it, and it's like it, again, I feel like I'm a sort of bleeding heart for our customers. Like we have a lot of customers who want to own stock in it, and in some ways, I love that idea of trying to transform consumer empowerment, drug discovery, health delivery, and and you can own part of it. I think that's such a cool message. So I, there's something about that that I, I love.